Welcome back to the cave thingy with the stuff. Ooh, I see silver. Um, I also see water that's going to prove to be annoying. So let's just put some, yeah, it's good. Also see, hmm. Uh, by the way, I really like that the uh, creators of this simplified the uh, the amount of tools you have, basically, because you, you know, in Minecraft, you would need the shovel to get the, you know, for dirt and the other stuff. Then you need the pick, and then you have the axe, blah, blah, blah. And this, almost everything is with the pickaxe. Making the other stuff with the axe makes sense. Um... And the hammer, the hammer makes some sense too, because it, it affects background items, you know, like furniture and stuff that's not really solid ground, so, you know, it keeps them all pretty separate, but it just feels a little simpler than, you know, there's less tool switching, is what I'm saying. So that's really nice. Ooh, lots of iron. Let's put you here. And less tool switching is very nice. Oh crap. Also, enemies do not drown, so uh, be careful. Well, it'd be pretty hard to abuse, to use that to kill enemies anyway. Just don't think you can like drown the enemies. There's a lot of iron, that's very good. Enthralling mining action, action, action. Oh, hey, there's a worm thingy. Pretty sure those are called giant worms. I don't have the bestiary in front of me. By bestiary, I mean, you know, the wiki. By the way, the wiki, um, usually every wiki I've seen has been, um, very professionally nicely done, even when, you know, it's for a game and stuff. And it's a fairly small community. <gasps> Diamonds! Um, what was I saying? But, um, there was an interface change in Wikia's software. And now the comment section are sort of like the comment sections on a blog post. Which, that makes it easier to make comments. But the problem is, people are just commenting on the general, you know, like... If it's a page about a monster, you know, people will post on that page, Oh, hey, I hate this monster, blah, blah, blah. That's not actually relevant to the wiki's content, though, you know. The discussion section in a wiki is supposed to be for, you know, Oh, hey, this article states something, but that's really just conjecture. Or, shouldn't this article include X? Why is X not included? You know, discussions about the actual content, how the content should be modified. But... The new comment section thing, it really just kind of encourages, you know, posting basically verbal diarrhea. This, that, we just got an amazingly awesome item. Um, I don't use it that much, but it can really be useful. It just returns you right to your spawn point. Also, since I'm a pack rat, let's... I have a system with the chests. I always empty them completely, even if I don't want all of the items. And I break the chest and I take it with me. Part of this is because I use a mapping program on occasion, so I can see where chests are, and that way I won't get confused by a chest. Um, but also because if I go through the same area repeatedly, if I keep thinking that, if I keep seeing that chest, um, I will at least think about, you know, trying to extract it or whatever. And that can be really annoying. Um, because, you know, even if I know that I've been by that chest and I specifically remember not to do anything with it, it'll affect my thinking a little bit, and that bugs me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but whatever. Also, you're a bit of a big, fat, slime monster. Let's, let's correct that issue, shall we? You big, fat, slime monster. Um, can I hurt you if I do this? Oh my god, you take one damage. Oh my god, no! Oh god, I didn't think you'd get through that. Oh god, run. 
Okay. Okay. This is the best. This is the worst decision I've ever made. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, and I lost the gold coins. Actually, I think I will keep one gold coin because it. Yeah, you drop half of your money, I think. So. Actually, I think you drop half of what's in each stack. Also, if you want mushrooms for healing items, mow the grass basically. Just cut down grass, and it might regrow as a mushroom. I'm too lazy to actually like try and do that, but as you run around, just swing a tool and break all the grass and you know you'll get some more items. So just know about that. Also, unlike in Minecraft, when you drop items on the ground in this game, they don't seem to go away for a long time. Oh, also I have a chest now. So I'm gonna store stuff. Can I No I can't. Fine. You can put some stuff on tables, but not chests, apparently. Also, I really wish there was a button you could just click to instantly store stuff and take stuff out of chests. Minecraft didn't do that for a long time, but now it does, and... It's a very nice usability thing, and I would really like to see that in this game. Oh! By the way! The feature I never use the magic mirror for, and I really should, is it say, oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh snap, I escaped. Yeah, so that help that can help a lot. At the moment it actually just put me in more danger, but um it was a demonstration. This pick seems faster. Die. I need a second lens so I can craft something. Also, so I can show you a terrible decision the developers made. Um, actually, I think it was an accident, not a decision. But let's see here. Actually, let's finish storing things. And I would once again like to say that, yeah, I really, it really should be made so that I can just... Damn it. One click can store items into chests. Because I'm a pack rat, and thus... Items get very annoying in this game because your inventory fills up really quickly. So yeah. I have four different kinds of gems already. The only ones remaining are emeralds and rubies, I believe. And I love emeralds. Hopefully I'll be getting some. I guess I'll keep that. Keep the falling stars. Oh, a good idea, um, if you have a mana, I don't have anything that uses mana yet. But you can run around and collect falling stars. And these will let you get some more mana. I'll show you that once I actually get a mana weapon. I don't care about it now. But, okay. So with two lenses, you can craft goggles. So let's go to the crafting bench and craft up some goggles. Oh, it's not here. Okay. Well, something that does not make much sense at all. You can craft certain items only at a table with a chair. You can craft a watch and a depth meter. But, um, one thing that makes slightly less sense with a crafting table and a chair, you can make a certain item. Goggles! The funny thing is, only beginners can make that item. Oh, is it a helmet? Huh. Well, it makes it look kind of cool, but it's useless for me, actually. I thought it was an accessory. But it's not, so whatever, I guess I'll stick it in the chest. But yeah, you have to have a chair next to a workbench in order to craft that. It is the only item that requires that. There is absolutely no logical reason it should do that, but it, it does. Um, I personally think they should nix all of the items that require a chair and a table to craft. Because that just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Um, and, you know... Some of the things make sense, you know, the anvil. Actually, all of them make sense except for the table thing and the... The chair on the workbench just has to be a glitch. I can't imagine they intended to do that, and if they did intend to do that, it was a terrible decision. This weapon isn't that bad. It does break their defense a little bit. But, um... The table with the chair idea is really dumb. Why would I need a table with a chair to craft something, you know? I guess, I mean, 
you know, maybe my butt gets tired, so I'm like, oh, I can't craft this item without a table and a chair, because my fat butt is so lazy I have to sit down to make it. I don't, I don't know what the logic is there. It's the only logic I can really think of for that decision. So yeah, I would really next to that. There's also another... Oh, uh, do I have glass bottles? There's one other quote-unquote crafting station that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Being near the anvil and the furnace and the workbench all make perfect sense. No, I don't have any... Oh, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's make one more crafting station. This crafting station is called an alchemy station. It sounds fancy and it must involve, you know, some complex gear, right? Well, no, you set a bottle on a platform or on a table. The funny thing is, if you put a bottle on a table, you can no longer craft the watch and stuff that requires a table and a chair. So once you put a bottle on it, it's technically no longer a table. Which, that just makes all kinds of sense. But yeah, the alchemy station I also think is, you know, stupid. But especially since, um, can we make something? Can I make the potions? Yes I can, excellent. So yeah, this is how you make a healing potion. Very useful early on. Very useful always. Yeah, you need mushrooms, and you need gel, and you need bottles. But, um, basically, so, why do I need to put the bottle there if the bottles are actually part of the recipe? I really think, um, I don't know, I guess that's just to prevent you from being able to craft potions on the go, but... It would really make more sense to me if alchemy, if, like, the alchemy station was, like, the specific thing that you could craft. And then you would realize that, oh, I just need to place this, like, furniture. It's just not a very logical setup. I mean, we're gonna call this a day and... Oh wow, that's a lot of zombies. Well, it's three. We're gonna call this a day and tomorrow, when it's daytime, we are gonna do the next episode. So, thanks for watching.